I want you to pay attention to this video as you are about to be blown away. There is so much that surrounds the RIP of Mobad. And now, with the latest, you know, they talk about uh, someone's part, body part. What is this thing? What is going on? And we are hearing the names of people that many of you idolize. People that you say, no, it's not possible. They can never. It is not possible. Well, a lot of things are possible in this world that we live in. I want you to sit back as you will be shocked. But before we proceed, please like and share this video. Let it go viral. Tap on the like and share button. Tap on the thanks button. Yes, to encourage this channel to move more. And if you are just coming across this channel, why don't you tap on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell? It is very important so that you don't miss anything that drops. Like I said, you are about to be blown away. The world is wicked. This world is so wicked. When I say wickedness, yes, this is the actual wickedness. The Nigerian police, what are you doing? Nigerian police, what are you doing? And why are we hearing strange, mysterious things? Well, I am not going to waste your time. No, not at all. I want you to pay attention. You will be seeing two videos. One from a young man that has been, you know, taking time to look into this, like how we've both been doing. And um, another lady that got a call. And this call jolted social media. People are like, wait, hold on a second. Are we really seeing this thing? Why did Davido quickly give 2 million naira or is it 4 million naira to Mubad's father? What is this thing? Did he do it out of goodwill or there are some other sinister motive surrounding it? Let us listen and we will be talking more. Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Dr. Paul Ezekiel and welcome to my platform. Alright, um, this video is, um, I'm going to be dropping two very powerful information. Good news, I call it good news, uh, with respect to justice for Mobad, justice for Imole. Now let me say something here. Uh, Mobad was not by one day. What happened to Mobad was not a, it's not a one day thing. It's not something that somebody just woke up and it happened. No, it took time years and months and weeks and days of planning and what happened to mobile is not one person that did it one person cannot plan and execute something like this it's not possible okay what i'm saying is because a lot of us are in a hurry seeing seeking for this justice no it's not a one day thing it's a syndicate okay if someone wants to come into your house when you are sleeping uh, the gate man will be away and somebody open the door for the person to come in and if a case like that comes up so it's not a one day thing so me 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 personally i'm not looking at one person i'm looking at everybody i'm looking at i'm looking at all i'm looking 360 i'm not looking only and go 91 spots no i'm looking around so justice is not going to come in one day it's going to take time but there is good news because personally when there is progress to me is good news good news is not that ah, they call a fan who who buy more bad no 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 good news is that there is steady step by step progress justice for him so to me some people were saying in my comment section that is a distraction no it's not a distraction it's not a distraction two of them know something about what happened to that young guy so by the time the bus goes intensifies some information will come out. Now, the second information is something I came across yesterday, very delicate update. I don't know where this video leaked out from. Involving when the nurse came into the house of Imole. Remember that in the police um, report and the police briefing uh, conference that they had, I think early, early October, the statement from the police chief is that there was no CCTV, that it's in, some of it's in the internet, they have the videos everywhere, that the CCTV was destroyed before the police arrived. Looking at that alone, who destroyed the CCTV? Who was in the house that day? It happened. Umi was there. Primer was not there. Umi was there. The nurse came around. Um, Adura, the brother of Mobad, was there. Spending Sodik Adeba Sodik that invited the nurse was there. So it is impossible for a stranger from outside to come in and dismantle it. Oh, not so. Not that the gate CCTV was missing, or that the sitting room CCTV was missing, or that the kitchen CCTV was missing. All of a sudden, all the CCTV of a house worth hundreds of millions got missing.
take me to the court. Let me expose you. So you are telling David Doe that if you think you are lying, he should take you to court? Yes. They removed uh, Mobad kidney and gave it to David Doe? Yes. Wow. This is a serious one. Mm. Mm. You need to take me to court. I will answer you. David Doe, he said, me you go answer her and prove her wrong, that she has a proof. She said... The reason I have a lot of people talk, but you know why I don't want you. You don't know why I don't want to go towards you because I'm not in for that. But what I would just want you to do, just stay out like the way you started staying out. Just I think you, you hear my advice now. You, you just stay. sorry because I bring you to this book. I will bring you again. If it goes bring you, I will bring you back. So you said I'm about to repeat it again because it's kind of scary. So kid, let me repeat it for you. If you are scared, let me repeat it for you. No, I'm not scared. I say it's kind of scary, not me scared. I'm not scared. No, you should know me now. You you know, you, you read above. You're supposed to know that <laughs> I don't know the fear anybody. I let me see what you face now. But I said the thing is scary. If they do have a molest uh, kidney, that is scary. No wonder he's saying fly back. He's the first party to save money. David was the first person to send money. Yes, she's not the one that tell me. Take that phone, take that phone, take that phone here. Okay. He took a mole kidney. They gave it to David Do. Because eyewitness said they saw a cooler coming out from the house in the morning. So I was wondering, what is cooler coming out from that house in that early morning? And what do you use cooler for? You preserve things inside cooler. To cool them down with ice. We know how this thing works in the operation room. So, all those things I'm hearing now, you are proving it now. And you say you have proof. You have proof. I don't even have time for the video. I said the video should sue me, right? I agree. Share this one. David, if you say the lies, you should sue her. If you don't think right. Sue me if you want to know me. Well, if you sue me, maybe I will have the chance to go to Nigeria to finish me and I finish the case. When I finish the case, you finish me. That is it. We go together with this. As long as we have, we have okay. the case. Okay. If you finish the case, the widow will finish you. Like, buy, buy you. Then you buy you. How you Welcome back. Can you see how serious this has become? This is no longer a joke. I mean, like, seriously? like seriously now the whole picture or let me say puzzle is beginning to kind of uh, make sense people are beginning to see deeper people are beginning to tap into their consciousness and with that they have been able to see beyond what they normally would have seen talk about philanthropist talk about giving arms talk about charity Talk about that your favorite star, that person that you like, you embrace them. You feel that they are clean. They will never do anything bad or evil. But we live in a dangerous world. We live in a world full of wickedness, world full of evil. Now, you might be wondering what I'm talking about, but you are about to get to see the reality that will hit you very soon and what is this that you should not embrace people because they are rich they are famous or because they give out no not at all you need to see beyond it now this allegation that has been put forward this uh, new story turn of event that has generated a lot of comment a lot of reaction on social media will not go away without it being looked into properly like we've said no stone will be left unturned. No stone will be left unturned. The Nigerian police have refused to release some of the CCTVs. Only one CCTV to indict the nurse. That is all that they are concerned about and nothing more. But they could not hide the part of Wumi opening the main gate, the door to the house. They could not hide that part. There was no way they could edit that part out of it. It wouldn't make sense. What 
was the purpose of that cooler. As you all know, coolers are used to preserve, as you heard. Now, this narrative has been going out, you know, wild on social media. And people are kind of looking at it. Now, this takes me back to this Anonymous. Anonymous talked about something related to this one. In fact, we are hearing from people who said we are privy to this, we know this, we know that. And you heard also that the RIP of MOBA did not start now. What was this about? Is, it, is, it, is this not a grand conspiracy? A grand conspiracy to RIP someone? Wumi, you have to come out to tell us the truth of what happened. There are a lot of things that Wumi knows and might not want to put out because of uh, probably promises that have been made or she just felt like, no, I have to. What will prompt Wumi? Let us look at this thing. Mobat's father said something. When I arrived to the house, I saw my son parked under the staircase. I'm like, what? My own son? I thought you guys said he's sick. What happened? How did this happen? And I walked into the room where we normally talk. I saw Duve soaked with blood. Like, seriously? Like, seriously? What is this? What happened? Like, seriously? What is this all about? Well, I questioned Wumi. What happened to my son? Wumi said, eh, daddy, you know what? Take Mubad's body to your village, Ekiti State, the southwest of Nigeria, and do some rituals to find out who I paid him. I'm like, hold on a second. How? Like, I don't really understand. Unless this lady is so diabolic, or is there something else attached to it? What is this? I don't get it. Like, what is this thing? How can that be the first thing you open your mouth to tell the father of your Boy, of your boyfriend. How, how is this possible? I don't really get it. You, you, you cannot begin to say, go and do rituals. Is that because you are guilty? Like, go and find out who R.I.P. What is this? What is this thing? Well, definitely they must have cooked up a lot. And when I say cooked up, they definitely cooked up a lot and a lot of, you know, wicked, evil you know, things already. They've already made up what to do, how to go about it. I, I cannot connect to it till today. I'm still bothered about it. Like, how is this possible? How is this ever possible? What will prompt Wumi to say such to Mubat's father? What is this thing? I, I cannot put my fingers on it. And I don't know if you understand it. What will prompt a woman to say such to the father of a boyfriend. Well, the map went on pressing, Wumi. Wumi, please tell me what happened. What exactly is this thing? I want to know. And Wumi ended up saying, eh, the nurse injected your son and it reacted badly. And here we are today is gone. And Mubai's father said, no, this is not possible. This is not possible. What happened? And there was a fight. What fight? Okay, if there was a fight, he could not check the body of his son because he had already been wrapped up. He has already been embalmed locally by Darusha. Now, this brings the hospital that they claim that they took him bad to. What really happened in that hospital? There is a lot that needs to be cleared. A lot needs to be told. A lot, a lot. When I say a lot, a lot of things needs to be cleared. We want to know. We want to know what, what hospital, what did the hospital see? What, what did they, what, what is this thing? We want to find out about it. We want to know. So guys, I don't know what you think about this one because it is troubling. It is, it is, it is troubling. I mean, people are not happy with this thing. People want to know. And I think you also want to know what is this thing? What is this thing that they are trying to cover up? What is this thing? Because, uh, you know, this organ thing, you know, you've been hearing about this uh, organ being stolen, being, you know, all of this. It's not something that is new. There are movies on Netflix. In fact, we've heard that some doctors, nurses are into this business. What exactly is this thing? How did it come to be? Just look at the CCTV and look at everything that transpired. It will make you realize that uh, there is more, more to what the eyes can see. Drop your comment about this one. See you in the next update.